What's up guys, this is your Daily Techie here, bringing you a different kind of video today. Basically, yesterday I got the idea of doing uh, free-for-all matches with every assault rifle. So basically what I've done is, uh, each clips are from the same match, the same map, and everything. Except I adjusted the clips or whatever, so that way it won't be as long. I try to just do the highlights of the clips itself. So basically I start off with the M4 and I work my way up to the AK-47. Now, I did, hap I did manage to do this within the... Uh, within three hours as you're going to notice throughout the video as you just saw with the shotgun there are going to be clips and stuff that aren't uh you know using the primary weapon as the m4 because i run out of ammo or i feel like switching to the shotgun like a noob for whatever unknown reason uh i like i said i deleted a lot of, a lot of the clips and stuff throughout the gameplays to adjust it so that way it wouldn't be like a you know a long commentary in that sense all this is already pre-recorded uh, as of yesterday yesterday being uh, Wednesday today's Thursday morning um, I've been actually re uh, editing the video for the last like three hours because I had all the gameplay jumbled into one basically what I did is just dragged everything over to Final Cut labeled the clips as what gun they are as of course this one's labeled M4 the next one's labeled uh, FAMAS and stuff like that so I thought this video would be good for those who don't snipe, you know, they they use uh, regular guns or whatever the case is, and they don't know anything about quick scoping or whatever. And to be honest with you, there are times in this whole, not not, may, not maybe in this gameplay, in this specific map and with the M4, because I'm pretty comfortable, but there was times with, when I was using the FAL or the, well the F2000 was, wasn't even that bad, but there were times where I would rather snipe, like, Seriously, I could not stand it. Um, I do feel I, I I feel better sniping and stuff. Anyway, as you can see, guys, I use my kill streaks. You know, by the way, I I use them like a bitch, straight up. I'm being honest. I use my kill streaks, whatever the case is. Feel free to do that as well. The reason why I'm telling you to do that is because what I'm going to do is a giveaway. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is this. I would select one specific item, but you know, the winner might not like that item. So what I'm going to do is. Is I uh, I challenge you to submit a similar. Uh, basically, I want you to do the same exact thing I did. You don't have to use the same maps, obviously, but the same weapons in the same order, and basically do the uh, highlights of them or whatever. Half proof, you know, that you're starting off with a weapon. You've been using the weapon for some of the kills. Uh, feel free to use your uh, your kill streaks because that's fine. I don't mind. You know that's completely okay. You can use a, uh, your kill, your kill streaks. You can even have nukes. I've had two that you're gonna see uh, throughout this uh, whole entire gameplay of all these maps and stuff. You know, so feel free to do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, is let's say you win. What I want you to do is tell me what video game you want. I will give you a video game, cause some people do not have an Xbox One. I do not yet. Not that I don't want to get one. It's just I'm not in a rush at this moment. Uh, I know that you know a lot of these new consoles and stuff. When things come out, they have bugs and stuff. So I'm not too crazy about doing that. As you can see, I I, I get some nice little kills in these gameplays with some claymores and stuff like that, camping it up like a noob. Uh, you know, it's it's weird. I know this is gonna make you guys sick, like seeing all these like crazy clips. Like you want to know what happens next, but you're not gonna see it. Because I just do the, I, I try to focus just on the kill clips itself. I didn't really want to go into seeing you, uh, seeing me die and stuff like that and all that craziness. Um, I do want to let you know that this commentary is not rehearsed, rehearsed in any way. Because I have no idea what I want to talk to you guys about other than the giveaway that I am going to announce. And uh, I would, I want to say, what I want to do is on August first, I want to announce the winner. And what I want you to do is. Make the video, put it on YouTube, link it to me, you know, and I'll give you a bunch of hashtags and stuff that I want you to use so that way I can recognize them throughout the Twitter. So that way, if you're tweeting at me and I don't, I don't, I don't uh, catch it, I don't see it, you know, I'm not going to miss, uh, you know, your chance on winning or whatever the case is. So what I'll do is I'll make specific hashtags that uh, I did last time when I did a giveaway. I did uh, hashtag YDT giveaway, hashtag YDT. Uh, at the time, I was really trying to get verified by Twitter, but I prob that's probably not going to happen. It's so ridiculous. Uh, 
but I'll make specific hashtags that you can use so that way I can go into Twitter, look at the hashtag, search it, and basically find out, you know, who's really submitted it. Because I'm not going to make you follow me for you to qualify, even though more than likely you probably uh, would want to. Now, one thing I want to notice out is, uh, I want you to notice is, as you can see, I was just on Skid Row with the FAMAS, and then now I'm on, uh, I'm using a Scar H. And, like I said, this was not one after another of me winning. Um, it took me a total of three hours, like I told you. A total of three hours, but it was not one right after another. And one of the big things I really wanted to avoid was staying in one lobby for too long because I didn't want to get into a lobby with a bunch of people that, you know, as they weren't good at the game or whatever the case was, I didn't want to get into a lobby with them and risk the chance of, you know, just being boring, you know, with the kills and stuff. And basically doing the same thing every match and stuff so I really wanted to have like you know some uh, some differences I really like this scar I noticed that during the gameplay I uh, I never used it I used it when the game probably first came out of course but I don't remember anything about it you know it's a lot better with extended mags I will tell you that I've noticed when I was using it with uh, with the regular magazine the rounds went way too fast and it was just oh my god it was awful like I couldn't connect at all but it's nice especially with FMJ I think FMJ is a must on the Scar H just because it's so powerful you know shooting through walls and stuff I would say it's a it, it's a, it's a super powerful weapon the accuracy is kinda crap but it's it's whatever it's not worse than the AK the AK has no uh, accuracy whatsoever the AK is kind of like a uh, tap and go kind of thing um, and of course, you know, at the very end, I do use the AK since the AK is the last weapon. I think up next is the, uh, I'm not sure what weapon it was, uh, the TAR-21. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, spoil that for you. On the TAR-21, I get a nuke, of course, because it is the TAR-21. I would say, hands down, the TAR-21 would be my favorite uh, assault rifle in this video game. Um, and, and in a lot of video games, actually, I love the TAR uh, series, you know. In Battlefield, I used the TAR all the time, back in Battlefield 3 and on Battlefield 4 a little bit. But even though on Battlefield 4, I try to stick with uh, the AUG A3 for the most part. But I'm talking about a whole different video game. It's not even relevant. But the TAR-21, you have to run it with a silencer. If you do not run it with a silencer, it is no bueno. Like, it is really horrible. I, uh, I really don't like it. Now, I can't this little area up here uh, really hard because, as you can see, I'm getting a bunch of feed and stuff at the bottom left hand with my Harrier and my Pavel and all that stuff, so I'm just camping in the corners. Go ahead and hate on me for doing it, but I do get the nuke right there. I, I actually skipped through a lot of the Pavel and Harrier stuff on this just because of it's not part of the video, you know, for the sense of me uh, trying to show you. I'm just trying to go through the assault rifles, not showing you how many uh, Pavlos and Harriers I get. But I will tell you this, it does help out with the uh, with the difference and stuff. And as you can see, people hate nukes and they hate people that win. So they back out, new host comes in, doesn't even do the nuke uh, gameplay. It just blacks out, goes, it says I win, so who cares? That's all I really care about. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want to let you know this right here is the worst gun for me. Because unfortunately, I'm not like the rest of you kids that use mods. I do not have, uh, see, that, God, that's awful. I do not have, uh, <laughs> a, like an assault rifle FAL with a modded controller. Two or three years ago, I did get a modded controller. And let me tell you about this modded controller, actually. I spent, no lie, $350 on this modded controller. I do not know what was wrong with me. I do not know why I spent $350 on it. I just, I thought it was going to, like, do everything for me. But uh, the, it was really nice. The controller itself was really cool. It was yellow and black. Because um, at the time, uh, with Khalifa, black and yellow stuff was really popular. And I really wanted to get that controller. So I got it. And the top, the, the thumbsticks, you know, they weren't the hard plastic that you rec that you see on the, uh, the regular Microsoft uh, brand black Xbox 360 controllers. These thumbsticks were uh, these rubber, a uh, rubber material. And it was really nice, but the problem was is that after so long, the uh, the rubber itself started moving, you know, off of the tip of the controller. So basically what happened was is that 
to the right and to the left of the thumbsticks, all the rubber was moved over and it just looked really bad. And then I got really dumb one day and tried to take off the rubber, then it was just hard plastic, then it broke and I just said screw it. And what I actually did was is I took the controller apart, took the faceplate off, uh, got a black Microsoft Xbox 360 controller and basically just tr transferred everything over. Um, so that way I still had the, the controller and stuff just without the joysticks because I actually enjoy the uh, the regular Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. Uh, as you can see guys on the previous map that was a really fast map because the FAL uh, I, I did the clips and stuff but I didn't really get a uh, a lot going on or whatever there were a lot of times during out that gameplay that I used the spaz. The spaz actually remained my secondary for this whole entire clips because I'd never really changed the secondary for that. All my, you know, sniper rifles and stuff, I, of course, run a handgun, but um, I decided not to on this. I use shotguns. I don't know why. It, it was whatever. It helped me out. On the foul, it was, like, super fast. So on this map, guys, I'm using the M16. Uh, I actually get a nuke on this one, too, but uh, you're going to see something crazy when I get the nuke. Anyway, so, yeah, um, the the modded controller series stuff, oh, my God, it's just it's awful. It happens to the best of us, so whatever. Um... I'll never spend that much money again, because what I do now is I just, I use one black Xbox 360 controller for about six or seven months, because the uh, to me, after a while, I guess because of my sensitivity and the way I play, you know, sniping and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm like, moving everywhere and stuff like that, and it's like messing up the joysticks and makes them really loose. Uh, so as you can see in the top left hand corner, I get the nuke on this map as well. Uh, of course I have my pavlo and my hair here and stuff, and that did most of the work. And of course I edited that out because that's like, you know, the boring part. But as you can see, the nuke is like, for, for like 400 days. Like, the the game was uh, modded or whatever, and the nuke did not work for me. Um, so I, I counted that as a win because I did get a nuke, but unfortunately it never went off. And as a matter of fact, I continued to play to see what would happen. It basically allowed me to get to like 50 kills uh, when the gameplay is supposed to stop at 30. So the game was like that was that was that was super crazy. I guess somebody followed me or whatever, and they got mad about the Tar 21 issue that I won. Uh, so you know they just hated me. As you can see, that guy had painkiller. He was a boss. Um, I think this is that Claymore. Nope, that, never mind. There's a clip in this gameplay, I believe. I believe it's this one. I'm pretty sure, because I think this is the last Skid Row one. There's a Skid Row clip where this Claymore just blows this guy to smithereens, like, against the wall. And it, it doesn't look as cool as in, like, regular uh, mode, but when I was watching it, and, uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> when I was editing that, I saw that clip, and the guy's body in slow motion was, like, so funny looking. It, it was crazy. I, I was going to actually, uh... Put it in slow mo, but that would have been a little weird since that would have been like the only kind of video edit in this game. I tried to stick to basically just like basic footage in this gameplay. I didn't want to do anything too crazy. As you can see, my Pavlo and my all that stuff, I get like a four man kill feed down there. Not kill feed, I get a Pavlo, Pavlo Harrier, my assault rifle, uh, ACR. Uh, the ACR is actually another one of my favorite weapons, and I would actually say that it was my favorite weapon up until uh, one day. What, I remember what had happened. It was a few years ago, and I was playing uh, Search and Destroy, and I picked up somebody's uh, Tar-21 Silenced or whatever when I was running my intervention class, and I fell in love with it. I made my own class, and I was using the Tar-21, uh, you know, back when I was, like, you know, playing a little competitively, not really sniping or anything at that time. But, yeah, that's that gameplay. The next one is this F-2000 which I thought I was going to have a worse time with this than I did with the FAL. But it turned out that it was not that bad. It's it's a definitely close quarters weapon. It's nothing that you could use at all uh, long range. Because I actually, I, I think that the AK is a little better long range. Um, I think that, you know, it's it's a little bit more accurate if you tap it. This, even if you tap that, it's going to be like the recoil is like awful. And every time I, like, if, if you see me spring, a lot of the times I'm, like, holding down so it just doesn't go up. It's it's really bad. I really hate that weapon. Uh, but it, this gameplay wasn't that bad, so it, it did okay. Um, I think the AK-47 was better. There's actually a time when I used the AK-47 for much, much, much longer 
than uh, the average person should. You know, there was a time where I was using the AK-47 without uh, a red dot sight or anything, with just iron sights, and I was always like constantly doing work. Um, and then that stopped because uh, I, I became a man, and then started sniping. But I've always I've I've always been sniping. You know, I always started out sniping just because of the fact that. I remember when COD4 was out, you know, using the, uh, the M4, uh, oh, no, oh, the M4A1, whatever, and I, I really liked sniping then, you know, just because of the fact of, like, it was so much easier just to get one shot in instead of having to spray someone out, at least for me, because as long as you're extremely accurate, you know, you're really good with a sniper rifle. It doesn't matter if you're quick scoping, if you're hard scoping, that's nonsense. It does not matter. Um, if you're accurate with it, that's what counts. And and I I like to believe that I'm really accurate with my gameplay for the most part. Um, even with assault rifles and even with the sniper rifles and stuff like that, I think I'm accurate. There's if you look at my previous videos, there's times where like I'll go to hard scope and I'll miss, and then I'll quick scope and make it. And that happens all the time. And it, yeah, it's it's crazy. As you can see, dude, uh, dude, I'm, I, I, as if I'm talking to one person, which I probably will. <laughs> as you can see, like, all these uh, final kill cams and stuff, I get like a little two-man kill feed in them. You know, uh, like a two-man clip, which which I really like. Uh, this is the AK-47, so this is the last gun. Um, you know, this, this video has actually gone to, uh, by a lot faster. I thought I would have to talk the whole day. But unfortunately, well, fortunately for me and unfortunately for you, I don't have to talk all day. Um, so yeah, this is the AK-47. The recoil is pretty ridiculous. It's uh, it, it, it's not as bad as the F-2000. It's nowhere near as bad. And it's a lot more powerful, too. It's probably on the same uh, page with the SCAR as far as powerfulness. But the SCAR is a little bit more accurate. So... I don't know. The AK-47 might be a little bit more powerful. That's okay. And as you can see, I've already uh, hoarded up my uh, my little camping area with my Pavlo and my Harrier doing work. The uh, Harrier got shot down. It's just me and a Pavlo now with my AK-47 shooting that guy that's sniping. I'm sorry. There was... I I've edited this out too, but there's people that sent me uh, messages and stuff really mad at these gameplays, um, especially on the TAR-21 because... What happened was, is I got the nuke, and then this guy sent me a like a mess, like a voice message, really mad about it. And because my bio says, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter or whatever, and then it says I've been sniping since 07, which is true. But on that on that gameplay, obviously I was not sniping. I was using a Tar 21 that got me a nuke, and he got mad and was like, "Hey, you weren't sniping, you fuckface!" Like super pissed off at me, and I was like, "Oh gosh, that sucks. This guy's taking a shit. He he's dead." He's done. <laughs> He's done, Jim. Okay, gameplay's about over. I get this kill uh, after like 20 minutes. Here we go. Guys, make sure you get this in. Submit it. Link it to me. I'll give you the hashtags later. That was it, guys. All assault rifles done in three hours. Peace.